Robert. Hey guys, my name is Izzy. My name is Frank from BK Move. Today we're going through some quick warm ups and cool downs. Today we're going to be learning how to do the backwards roll. Today we're working on quad jump. To kick off our warm up, we're going to be doing the ratchet squat. Not to be confused with the ratchet squat. Your squat should be perfect by now. Move up and down slowly as you get lower and lower and lower. And then ratchet yourself up, squeezing your butt, keeping your back straight. And we'll do one more of those. Make sure you're straightening your back from the upper part of your back, not your lower back. We'll go into the parkour squat now. Weighted in the balls of your feet and the butt as you sit down and squeeze up. Do not throw your lower back out like this. Keep the hips tucked in and use your upper back to straighten out. When you reach with your arms, it's with your upper back, not throwing out your lower back. Keep your core tight, butt squeezed, on to the next. Just bounce up and down, very light, side to side, front and back, side to side again, like you're skiing, All right, up and down, and then from one foot to the other, just hop, press one ball of the foot in the ground, and pull the other toe. And now we'll go into jumping lunges. Just like with the squats, make sure your hips are tucked in, getting a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Push with both feet. All right, now let's get onto the ground, into the dead bug position. We're gonna start here in dead bug, as we saw in a previous video, and I want you, without letting your legs or arms touch the ground, I want you to roll over into a superman on your stomach. And then just like in the pencil roll, I want you to roll back onto the back. Keep on rolling. For the backwards roll, we have two options. We either have the grass, or if you guys have a mat at home, you can go ahead and pull out a mat. I have something that's maybe two inches thick here. Not a thin little yoga mat. The grass is probably going to be better than that than a thin yoga mat over some concrete or, or over some hardwood floor. But we're going to use this thicker mat today. I'll show you what it looks like on the grass as well. We always want to make sure we're rolling over our shoulder. We don't want to roll straight down our spine because we can hurt ourselves. So always make sure you're tilting off a little bit to the left. To work up to it, what you guys can do is actually just practice rolling back without kicking over. So like this. Just practicing that, making sure you're putting weight onto your shoulder and not directly onto your spine. So just practicing going off to the side. Here's what it would look like on the grass. So because I'm doing it on grass and or on the mat, it's okay if my arm pops a little bit, meaning I'm using my elbow and not just my hands. That's the way I do it. If you ever were to progress this onto harder surfaces, you definitely wouldn't want to place your elbow on the ground. You want to just use your hands. But I just wanted to go over that with you guys. That's everything for the back roll. To start, you're going to shift your weight to your heels. Hinge at the hips with your arms in front. Bring the arms back, then rock forward into the balls of your feet and begin to jump and throw the arms up. Make sure your chest is a bit forward to gain more distance. Next, we're going to do the same heel rock jump, but into a gather step or a gallop on the ground. Have one leg land on the ground first with the second following suit. The first leg should land under your center of mass to carry momentum, while the second foot redirects the remainder into a step out. Be sure to keep your chest up as you land, as it will aid with the next step. 
alternate sides as you practice this. Now for the landing foot, rather than collapsing, bring the chest up and stride out into a gallop. Land with the first foot underneath your hips and then explode into a jump. Then prep the next leg to brace into the gallop. Be sure to do both sides and not to lock out your ankles. You want them to relax just before the point of impact. Following the same steps as you did before, carry the momentum from one stride to the next, then finish with a precision landing. For arm motion, you can either alternate them or swing both at the same time for more distance. Try to land tall from the pre to make the next step easier. Now for the final piece to make this a quad jump. Rather than stop at the pre, continue to carry momentum and plow out into a precision landing. A way to think of this is an extreme version of hopscotch. Jump from a standing jump, to stride, to stride, to plyo, to pre. Try some combos such as a backwards roll into a quad jump, or even a ground kong to quad jump to QM. <laughs> Let's cool down. Let's start with the couch stretch. The top of your foot on top of the couch and your knee on the ground with your shin parallel to the side of the couch. Put your other foot out to support, straight, strong, and push your hips forward. Reach up. Oh, this is a good one. And the other side. Stretch out our calves, put hands and feet on the ground, and put your weight down into your heel on one foot, and just kind of keep your back straight, and just kind of push into that. Really stretch out the calf. And sit down into dragonfly position with your sit bones flat on the ground, feet together, knees down, pull your back straight, pull your legs in as far as they can go, and then slowly lift your knees up, slowly lift your knees, push your knees down, lift them up, and down, up, and down, up, down and then just flap those little dragon wings. Yeah. And right, from here to open up. And we're gonna stretch out different parts of our back here. I'm gonna reach forward and grab your toes and press your toes forward and your back out. Straighten your back and press your toes. Curve your back and press your toes. Then reach across to the opposite toe and push that toe out, pulling your upper body forward as you twist. Oh, I don't know any other stretch that gets that part of the back that this one does. Reach over, push, pulling your arm forward and as you twist. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, I might have to play around with it a little bit. Let's work our back out a little bit. Grab your knees and just roll back and forth. Make sure you're doing this on a very soft surface like a carpet or grass. Never ever ever do this on a hard surface unless you want to ruin your spine for all eternity. Ugh. It's especially good on carpet. And then spin yourself around 
Get your legs up on the couch and relax your back. Sink, feel the pressure sinking you down into the carpet, down into the floor, down underneath the ground. Make sure your lower back is sitting straight and flat, pressing the lower back especially down into the ground. And then finally, I want you to reach your feet up over your head, pressing with your arms, stabilizing with your arms, and just reach over. You can point your toes to either side and just stretch. Open them up a little bit and push them straight. Now same thing when they're together, push them up straight and slowly roll your back down flat into the ground and relax. Huh? That's all folks.